Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are taking a look at Nightingale. This is a fantasy survival game that came out earlier today and I've actually been looking forward to play this game and as soon as we jump in the game we get to create our character and after that we wake up in this sketchy cave where we meet Puck. Puck is going to be kind of our pal, he's going to guide us through the game pretty much. And he tells us that we have to use these Yu-Gi-Oh cards to activate the Stargate and escape the cave. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Well, I don't stink. What's your problem? Oh, there's men here. There's oh, there's some weird creatures here. Hey guys. <laughs> and I'm out through the Stargate. Now after escaping the cave we are thrown in the forest realm and our pal Puck tells us that we have to find ourselves some food. Alright so our first objective is to acquire some food, we have to find some raw berries in the woods here. There is of course a bunch of things that we can, we can gather, I don't have any tools. Right I don't have an axe, I don't have a pickaxe, I don't have a knife, I don't have anything. But we can grab like sticks from the ground, flowers. Right, well, let's see if there is any be Oh, here we go. This looks like berries. There we go. Right, and we can eat them as well. They are on number six. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Nope. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> wrong button, wrong button, right button. All right. We gotta gather some sticks, some stones, some more berries. Punch the bush. At least we know how to melee. And eat. Ooh, so block. And punch. Alright. Right, well, I'm gonna go and gather some stuff from the woods. Now, after gathering some resources, you know, some sticks, some stones, some berries, I built a campfire and actually cooked the berries. And after that, Puck, our pal Puck, he sent us into the desert realm. Alright, well, we are now in this desert realm or biome and that's a walking tree <laughs> that is a walking tree in the back there hold on a second so i'm gathering some materials here because we gotta make a tent because it's it's too hot so we gotta we gotta make like a a bit of shade but look at this it's a walking tree i don't think it's friendly i am way too hot right so back here we're making this tent. I mean, I have finished the tent. Just a, a small tent. And I'm putting down a bed as well. There we go. And here we can rest. We can take a nap. Right, 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 right. And now we have to rest. Which actually doesn't take all that much time. There we go. Ah, and here we go. Finally, we can make ourselves some tools and some weapons. So if we go into our inventory here, or our crafting thingy-majig. Let's see, where are my weapons? That's a tent, that's a bedroll, that's a campfire. There we go, we can make a hunting knife. Oh, I, want, I like the sound of that. Then we can make, uh, well, we're gonna need a lot of sticks, a lot of plant fibers, and a lot of rocks to make all these things here. I can make a torch, a wooden axe, but at the very least we have a knife. There we go. Right, well, I'm gonna go say hello to that, um, th this guy. You reckon he's gonna be friendly? He doesn't look like it. Oh my god, the big tree just pooped some small trees. Hold on, I don't think we're gonna hurt this guy because he's gonna give us sticks. Hey buddy, can I have the poo? I'll just grab the poo real fast and you can be on your way. Yeah, check it out. The walking tree poops sticks. Oh, we're not gonna attack these guys. They're very useful. Thank you. Much appreciated. I actually needed some sticks. Because I have to craft... This stuff here. Wait, are those Daleks? Is that a Dalek? What the... Do I like this video game? Not only do these walking trees poop out sticks, but these are Daleks right over here. Don't wanna mess with them. Alright, so we were in the... in the green parts, and then from the green parts we came to the desert parts, and now the game is telling me that I have to go to the swampy parts. <laughs> so let me whip out the map here. 
I guess he's just trying to introduce us to the different realms that we can explore. So if we go north west this way we're gonna reach the Stargate and through the Stargate we can um, we can go to, to, to the swamp. So let me see here. We're just kinda introducing us to what we can do. We can gather materials, we can craft items, and we can explore different realms. And also the trees poop out sticks. Right, let me see here, am I heading in the right direction? Yeah, we should have a, a lake here. By the way, I haven't seen any food in this realm. Oh, I'm way too heavy! I guess we can just drop this wood. My wood is way too heavy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's the Stargate! Does the water cool us down? Wait, I'm wet now. All right. I'm not hot anymore, I'm wet. I should stop gathering things because I'm way too heavy. Or at least I was way too heavy. I don't think we're all that heavy anymore since we dropped a bunch of the wood. Alright. Alright, we should have... Yep, there we go. So this is the DHD. We can operate this. Put the Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. And open the Stargate. Oh, that's sweet. I love that. Now in the swamp realm, I actually had to hunt down some predators, but since I kind of got distracted by all the different realms that we can explore, I kind of forgot about the fact that we need food in order to survive. What's happening? <gasps> oh, I'm hungry. I don't have any food. Alright, is the predator? It doesn't look like one. Can I eat the meat? Zero out of three. Okay, this is not it. Can I just eat the raw meats? Consume. Is this gonna hurt me? Oh, it's not. We can eat raw meats. It's fine. Alright. Alright, so that was not a predator. Not by a long shot. It was some sort of a squirrel. I did see something big in the back here. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, come on. It's a huge rat. Oh, it's a weak huge rat. Okay, we got him. No problem. So is this is it gonna have what we need? Alright, we got we got some hide and we got a bone as well. Alright, so we got a huge We gotta hunt down the huge rats. Hunt down the huge rats. Here we go, let's see here. This axe is actually doing quite a bit of damage. Oh I see another one back there. I see quite a few of them. What is this? Come here, Mr. Rat. Kangaroo rats! Look at those guys! Oh, they're fighting each other! Alright, we got him. These guys aren't all that tough, luckily. Not enough stabbing, huh? Alright, hopefully I got everything from... Uh, from that guy. So, they're huge kangaroo rats. Did you see the, the leaps that they were doing in the back here? What is this thing? Oh, hey, oh, uh, 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 uh. So this thing is level 10 and I'm... <laughs> I mean, I'm level 1. I just started playing, so... I guess I'm level 1. Alright, can I... There we go. Alright, here we go. So we got the meats, we got the bones. What in the hell is a... Capelle. <laughs> Craft a makeshift Capelle. I don't know what that means. I legit do not know what that means. Alright, let's see. Where do I... I don't know what it is. Where do I find it? Oh, here we go. It's this thing. Does that mean a poncho? Is that what that means? Just make a poncho? Hold on. We need some... Um, we need some plants. It was in fact a poncho and I did manage to craft it and it actually looked pretty cool as well and after that I cooked some meats and crafted some heels and then I had to activate this huge stargate and protect it from these zombie looking creatures. 
All right. Oh god. Oh god. The zombies. The zombies. The zombies. They're coming. All right, lads. Gotta be careful. Gotta keep an eye on the stamina. <laughs> These guys are kind of funny. Where? You damn zombie goblins! Get out of here. There we go, we got him. You know, these guys are the... Hold on a second, let me just... Smack this goblin. Get out of here. Oh, this guy's like a boss. <gasps> no stamina, no stamina. He's got like a helmet on. I think we gotta break that. There we go. <laughs> Knocked him right out. I was gonna say, these guys are like the... Uh... Oh my lord, what is that? I thought the lizard just came out of nowhere. I was gonna say, we keep comparing these gates with the Stargate. So if this is the Stargate, the Zambies were the Goa'uld. Is anybody getting these references? I hope so. You guys know Stargate? I hope so. I really hope so. Because if, if not, this is not gonna make any sense to anybody. Alright, so... Is the portal stable? Can we go through it now? Here we go. So that was more or less the introduction to the game. It kind of showed us the different realms that we can explore. It showed us that we can craft and cook different things. And after that, we kind of get to explore the game at our own pace. Uh, we can choose a biome where we want to live. So I went for this forest biome and I put down, you know, a few things, some workbenches and whatnot. And after that, I went out exploring. All right, so now that we've been left to our devices, kind of, we uh, we can just go around, explore, build, do whatever we want. It seems like we have some enemies here. There's like a point of interest. Let me just whip out the map here. So we are here in the uh, forest realm, right? I put down a bit of a respawn area here, like a to- Oh my god, it's coming. We'll talk about that later. Let me take out this uh, zombie goblins. Little creepers. Ooh, headshots do a lot of damage. You know, I wish we had some sort of a uh, bow. I'm out of stamina, I'm out of stamina. Oh my god, I smacked the crap out of him. I'm gonna get wrecked actually. Hold on a second. Let me just... Hold on. Munching some of this food. Oh, it's coming! Ooh, that hurt, that hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Dude, I think I made some healing stuff as well, but I don't remember where I put them. What button? Is it number eight? Yeah, this is why I wish I had some sort of long range. There we go. I had to get a bit sweaty there. So let me see, which one is my healing? So, so this is my food and then number eight. This is my torch and what is this? Is this healing? Oh yeah, this is my heal, all right. It's all the way with number eight. You think I'm gonna reach that? I gotta, I gotta stretch all across my keyboard here. <laughs> all right, so let's see, did we... um? Do you wreck all the enemies? So this is some sort of a point of interest here that we can wait liberate from the enemies and then I'm hoping we're gonna find some loot here. We can crack this open? Why would we do that? Alright, let's see. Why are we breaking the wall? Is there something behind it? <gasps> Whoa, oh hello. What we got here? A uh, heal, heals, yep, 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 and then a potion. I'll take it. Can I put the heals down here? How do we hotkey? How do we hotkey the the heals? Let me see. So we got the heal, equip. Did I do it? Can I drag and drop? Like, nope. I wanna. Place it here. Ah, on Q. That's perfect. 
That is perfect. Hope Echo. Now of course I've barely scratched the surface of the game, we've basically finished the tutorial and then went up against some zombies and that was about it. Uh, but so far so good, I've had a ton of fun playing, the, the trees that poop out sticks are probably my favorite. But that's about it for right now, thank you so much for taking the time to check out the video and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.